Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and please forgive us of our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Holy children in the world, reach out your hands this day and place them in mine, for I wish to take you on a journey. I wish to show you your Bridegroom God, your Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, in the heavenly realms, the Lion of Judah, your Holy King of Israel, your Messiah. He has risen, my children. He did not die in the grave. He has risen. He has risen in spirit and truth, and he is in heaven. One day you will see his face, my children. One day he will judge your eternal soul. All power and authority has been given unto him. He sits at my right hand. He is the holy lamb who was slain. He will forgive you of your sins if you believe in him, if you follow him. If you use the power of his name, if you declare that he is your saviour, your God, your friend, he will forgive you of all your sins. There is nothing too great for him to forgive unless you blaspheme the Holy Spirit of God for which there is no forgiveness. My children, come to your Saviour now on bended knee. Repent of your sins. Turn from your wicked ways and walk in righteousness, truth and hope this day. I wish to show you your Saviour, your Lord. I wish to reveal unto you his face, his glory. Close your eyes this day and I will reveal unto you your Lord's face. You will dance with him in glory. I wish to open your spiritual eyes to see him this day, my children. To walk with him through the garden of paradise. My children, open your spiritual eyes now and see. See him before you. Reach out your hand and place it in his. Allow him, Kriya Nakoshi, to come alive before you this day, this hour. Feel his hand in yours. Know that you are in spirit and in truth and that you dance with him in glory. Feel the peace of heaven this day, my children. Feel his love. There are no heavy burdens in my eternal realm. There is no unforgiven sin. Breathe in my glory this day, my children. Breathe in my love. Let my peace enfold around you. Do not look to the world at this time. Let go. Let go of all that hinders you. All the worries and fears and thoughts and objections the confusion, the doubt. Let it all go this day, my children, and be still. Be still and know that I am your God, 
and that I love you and that I created you and that I know each of you individually by name and that you are my child and that you have an eternal soul. I created you to know you, my children. I created you to love you eternally, to be your father. You all have an earthly father, but I am your heavenly father. I am the great I am. There is not a soul on the earth which has ever existed that I did not know or create or love. Every child is worthy. Every child is worthy to inherit the kingdom of heaven, to dance with me in paradise, to live eternally. Thank you for all you are doing on the earth in my name at this time. Thank you for listening to my words this day. I am not angry with you, my child. I am not a harsh God. I wish for you to walk obediently according to my will and plans for your life. I wish for you to stop walking on your own this day. I don't want you to fear the darkness any longer. I do not wish for you to be afraid. I wish to be with you, to be your Heavenly Father. Allow me into your life this day. Give me room, my child. Give me your time. Separate time for me during your day. Time to pray, time to worship, time to dance, time to read my holy word, time to pray for others, time to pray for yourself, time to pray for your world, time just to talk to me, walk with me through the garden. Let me show you my creation, my birds, my trees, my flowers. I wish to speak with you one on one, my child, each day. Take a walk each day with me. Do not be so busy that you do not spend time with me, my children. Many have forgotten their first love. Many have forgotten me. During this time of tribulation, I am awakening your soul to my reality once again. There will be nowhere to turn but me, your God. I am speaking to you this day through my holy servants, my messengers, my ambassadors for Christ. I have chosen them this day to deliver these words to you. They are pure and holy vessels. They have no hidden agendas but just to do my will and to speak my words to the nations. I have cleansed and purified, sanctified them in my Holy Spirit. By my will they speak forth unto you now. They see my face in heaven, just as I want you to see my face Allah had this day, my child, to see the face of my son, to feel my Holy Spirit within you. Can you see him, my children? Can you see the face of your Saviour? Can you see him smiling at you now, his eyes piercing your soul? Hold his hands, see him, he is there. He is not a figment of your imagination, my children. You must learn to connect with me in spirit and truth, to worship in spirit and truth. The whole of heaven is waiting for you, my child. The whole of heaven is available for you to see with your spiritual eyes, to feel. 
the ecstatic love, the glory, the peace, the joy. Many know the way to my Kriyana Hashikiya, the Kriyana throne. Many know how to enter my courts with praise and thanksgiving. Many see the face of my son. Many dance with him, speak with him one on one, see his eyes penetrating. I wish for all of my children to have this amazing experience whilst you live and reside on the earth. It is available for every person but you have hardened your hearts, you have closed your spiritual eyes, your ears. So many do not seek the spiritual gifts which allow you access into my spiritual realm to hear my voice, to feel my presence, to receive visions and dreams and prophecy. I wish to release the gift of prophecy unto you now. I will speak to you in dreams and visions. Male and female. I do not have favoritism on the earth between male and female, my children. You are all equal in my sight. You are all worthy to receive my spiritual gifts, my Holy Spirit. I am happy to speak this message through two women. So many of you will not like that they are female, but I have chosen two females to speak my words to the nations. Do not rise up in anger against them, for this is my will, my child, not yours. You are not God. I choose the pure of heart to receive my words. I love you, my children. And I thank you for all you are doing for the Kingdom of Heaven this day. I have seen how hard you work. I have seen the trials and the burdens of carrying your cross for Christ. I know what it entails, the suffering, the pain, the solitude, the rejection, the criticism, the hypocrites, the slanderers and mockers and doubters and unbelievers, those who follow false religions, those who believe in nothing at all. I have seen the attacks you have suffered and come under. And I promise my child to lift you up, to help and strengthen you against all those who come against you in these darkened days. The devil rises up during this time. His voice will become louder and louder on the earth. Many will, will not know who to follow. He will be convincing, charming. Many will put their hope and faith and trust in him. But deep down, he is a wolf in sheep's clothing, the Antichrist, the beast. He comes to lead my children astray, to steal souls to the pits of hell. Do not trust him, my children. Follow the voice of my Holy Spirit. Learn to hear my voice now, my children, before it is too late. My Holy Spirit will lead and warn you in all times of danger. You can trust the voice of my Holy Spirit which lives within you. You can trust the words of my Holy Bible. You can trust the words of my Holy Prophets, my children. But be careful during this time for false prophets will arise. You must learn to discern the spirits of those who are speaking forth in my name.
Be careful during these darkened times, my children. Great evil is afoot on your earth. But there is also great goodness on your earth at this time. And those who are filled with my holy presence, those who know me well, will radiate love, peace, joy, calmness. They will not lead you down a path of fear, but they will lead you into the light of my glory, into a place of peace and rest. Follow the children who are doing this my children, children of God. Do not associate with people who are causing you great fear at this time, great anxiety and unrest. You must guard your heart during this time, my children. Do not fall into fear and anxiety, into stress, like the rest of the world. Be different to the rest of the world, my children. Walk in peace, know that I am with you, and trust me eternally. Hold on to the vision of your Saviour, seek his face daily, hold his hand, come into my heavenly realm and dance in the glory. Put on worship music, it will open your spiritual eyes. It will take you away from the earth and its troubles. And for a time you can spend the day with me, with your God, with your Holy Creator. And you can escape the troubles of the earth. Come to me daily, my children. I am calling out to you now. And I promise that when you come to me, I will always be there. I will always come to you. I will never leave you or forsake you. Relax in my holy love this day. Do not listen to the voice of the world any longer. It will only cause fear and doubt and uncertainty and unrest. Walk in peace this day, my child. In the name of your Holy Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.